Hi, my name is Mick. I'm the ResearchGate Marketing Solutions Head of Direct Business. My team and I support senior marketers working in science to help them connect with researchers online in order to achieve their business and marketing goals on the ResearchGate platform. Hi, I'm Abigail. I lead ResearchGate's business marketing. We work with companies across science, technology, and engineering in order to help businesses deliver top-line growth by a ResearchGate scientific platform of 19 million registered members. Mick and I are here today to present some of the actionable takeaways from our ongoing commercial insight series. After watching today, you'll walk away with actionable, tactical advice for B2B marketers working in the science sector. So what is our commercial insight series? As the world's most visited platform in science, we have a unique data-driven perspective on our members' needs, concerns, motivations, and general behavior in purchasing lab equipment. The series uses ResearchGate proprietary data and member surveys to surface insights that can help life science marketeers get the most out of their marketing and advertising spend. Our aim today is to help you build a great advertising and marketing approach that connects with scientists in the ways that best speak to them. In a previous webinar, we looked into the strategic considerations of how COVID-19 has impacted purchasing behavior and the makeup of lab equipment buying groups. If you missed it, it's now available on demand. And today we'll be exploring marketing and advertising to scientists from an implementation and deployment perspective. We'll focus on the channels and tactics that are most effective in influencing purchasing decisions for laboratory equipment. As you can see here, our survey data clearly points to the importance of branded educational content in establishing a favorable connection with researchers. This is because peer recommendations, white papers, and publications are all highly regarded by scientists and can heavily influence their purchasing decisions. So what does this mean for you? First, you should leverage educational materials that help to validate your brand and build your reputation. Second, it can help to enroll influencers or key opinion leaders that can evangelize on your company's behalf within relevant scientific social communities and networks. Together, these two activities can go a long way to ensuring your offerings are favorably considered at the pre-purchase research phase. Next, let's look at how a product's price point impacts the purchasing channels used and where a strong presence is required. As you can see on the chart, all of the purchasing channels listed play a significant role with sales reps, digital conferences, and in-person contact providing particularly important when selling high value laboratory equipment. What's clear is that even when running campaigns for big ticket items, it's still crucial to retain the early funnel educational content needed to establish trust with prospective buyers. Otherwise, you'll fall short at the first hurdle. However, we know from our own data that the larger the purchase price, the greater the number of people and range of priorities that you can expect to find in the buying group making the decision. For example, finance or procurement professionals are likely to have their own evaluation criteria that has nothing to do with the performance of the product. Instead, they require reassurance that the proposed supplier is reputable and that the purchase price represents good value. Therefore, you should also focus on having a presence on product review websites, relevant social networks, and at conferences to assist with conversion. So the previous slide illustrated how each channel plays a significant role. This slide shows each channel's relative importance at each stage of the buyer journey. Now, ultimately, the sales team will play a big role in closing a sale but they'll likely only get the opportunity if the marketing team has nurtured leads appropriately. This is because in the initial product discovery phase, things like virtual events, webinars, and conferences all play an important role, as do peer recommendations and publications. As we outlined in a previous webinar, up to 57% of a buyer's brand choice is made at this initial stage before ever engaging with a sales representative. And in the month leading up to a purchase, white papers, review websites, and sales rep outreach then take over as the most significant influences on purchasing behavior. 
Finally, in the final days leading up to a purchase, sales teams become the dominant factor in closing the sale. Given the importance of events in first engaging and building awareness, there are important stats for consideration from the Integrated Marketing Association. Of course, given our current climate, in-person events are currently very difficult to commit to. Yet, there is compelling evidence that even when things return to relative normalcy, it will pay dividends to make webinars a significant portion of your marketing strategy. With an average cost per lead of just 72 US dollars, webinars are more than 10 times as effective as physical trade shows when evaluated on a cost per lead measure. Reallocating at least a portion of the budget previously spent on trade shows towards online events can considerably boost the return of investment of overall marketing activities. To conclude, we'll look at ResearchGate's own campaign data to consider which forms of content deliver the best conversion rate. Now, it can obviously be tempting to push more directly promotional materials, such as product marketing. But in fact, it's educational resources like ebooks, product guides, white papers, and case studies that tend to deliver the best returns for B2B marketers. In fact, they can yield more than a 700% improvement in both conversion rates and also cost per lead on ResearchGate. In summary, here are five key takeaways that can inform your marketing and advertising decisions so that you can meet and exceed your commercial goals. One, cost matters, but educational thought leadership can sway lab equipment purchasing decisions. Product performance, manufacturer reputation, and peer recommendations also play a role. Two, choose the right channels to influence purchase, focusing foremost on education. Data indicates that white papers, scientific research publications, and social influencers within the scientific community wield most influence. Three, the more expensive the lab equipment, the more important the social proof. Engagement with real people via online networks or conferences is more important for more significant purchases. Four, campaigns should start early and stay late, providing full funnel coverage. The process of influencing a purchase begins well before a sales rep gets involved, and marketing activities must help nurture the prospect at every stage of the process. And five, marketers benefit from adapting to a more digitalized strategy with clear return on investment. Specifically, digital events will deliver value far beyond COVID-19 and positioning your brand as a thought leader in a trusted digital environment with an educational focus can help you influence prospects at every stage of the lab equipment purchasing cycle. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope that the insights presented here provide you with actionable takeaways to inform your business marketing strategy. And should you have any follow-up questions, please reach out to our team at ResearchGate Marketing Solutions. We are always here to help you. Thanks again. Yes, thank you so much for listening. And to keep up the conversation, we also invite you to follow ResearchGate Marketing Solutions on LinkedIn to access future insights and stay on top of trends in life science marketing and advertising. Thanks again, and we'll talk soon. Ciao.